Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic, and I'm here with another plan with me. This is my spread from last week using a kit from Miss and Meow. I thought it was a beautiful transition week as I get ready to start using fall themed kits and making fall spreads. This week I'm using a older mini kit from Tulo Bees. This particular one is a three page kit and it came with a quarter deco sheet. I'm not sure if it came with the kit or if it was an add-on. I don't really remember much about when I bought this kit during this time but what I will say is the quality of the foil and the quality of the stickers um, is I mean still really really good and what I noticed about it is even though it didn't have like what is kind of the trend in the planner community right now it still felt really I mean the format felt really useful and and that's the thing about using like older kits is sometimes formats change and it's not your style anymore or it's kind of hard to work with because it doesn't have the pieces that you really want and I didn't find that was the case that was the case blah 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 I didn't find that was the case with two little bees in this kit and so I just kind of noticed it because um that's just usually the format is kind of a hang up for going back to older kits in my opinion so I definitely got right into the planning and I started off by putting down my bottom washi and putting down some headers and putting down some date covers and eventually date dots in the sidebar so this week I and kind of getting into the fall feel, but I still think of it as a transition week. Um, a lot of the deco in this kit I think is very fall-ish feeling, but it's just not deep fall. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit, but that was not my thought process when I picked out this kit. Um, I still laid down my full boxes ahead of time because I knew where I wanted them. And the thing about my planner style when I'm planning um, in this memory style is I'm still trying to put as much in a day that I can reasonably do without it looking too crazy. I really want to see where my time is going. I want to, you know, just get the feel of what it was like in my life during this time. So for me, my style is not just for it to look pretty, but I tr really try to balance the pretty with it being useful. I don't get rid of my planners. Um, I'm getting to the point where I, I need to start thinking about it because um, I'm running out of room. But I, I tend to actually get rid of my functional planners before I get rid of my more decorative or memory plan planners. And I think it'll be like that, I think, for a little while. We'll see. So I did white out the month at the top and do a little bit of decoration, but not much. I was kind of flummoxed on what to do with the top. I just couldn't make up my mind. And eventually I just got tired of playing with it and I kind of gave up. I can say that I'm super happy with it, but I also feel like it ended up fitting the complete vibe of what I ended up doing with this week in the spread. Off camera, I did put up some um, headers at the top from um, Sadie Stickers. And I did put in some flowy garlands from The Giving Girl and just kind of decorated the date covers a little bit. I started off on Monday by putting down a half box and putting down a sleeping baby sticker from Paper Shower just to note that um, the baby slept in, which was really nice. But I had already put down the full boxes where I wanted them only to find that it created a spacing issue. So I just pulled up that full box so that I can move it up and have the spacing where I wanted and not try to kind of sneak something in really small. So next up I just wanted to note Labor Day. I've been forgetting to note the beginning of the month and some holidays and I've got all these stickers and I want to use them plus it's so pretty like just putting in Labor Day it's not that important of a memory but it it to me gives it a little touch and it looks really pretty and I wish that I had not been forgetting to do that in some of my other spreads about certain things that you know new month some holidays whatever I then put down a flag sticker and layered over a fox and pip girl and I just kind of noted that it was a lazy lazy day I lazed around it says laze around is that a word 
it should have been like lays with a D, right? Lazed past tense around. I I don't really I don't really know. Is lays without a Y, like lazy a word? I'm gonna have to Google that because now I wanna know. Um I put down a garland, just noted there was some family time and got some extra cuddles. I put down a quarter box and noted that I prepped some veggies for the grill, and that grill sticker is from Letters to Apollo. And um that let's see that pencil sticker at the very bottom just noting that I worked really late uh, is from Harriet Wright Designs. Moving to Tuesday I put down that mug sticker from the kit. I did pull in a bow sticker from Harriet Wright Designs and I just noted that I had an early start and started off my day with coffee and then I put down a quarter box and I pulled in a laptop I don't remember where that laptop is from. I'm so sorry. And I just noted that I had a show cause hearing on Zoom. So we are however many days or weeks. Um, and we are still virtual. And we are honestly starting to, we're really starting to feel it. Um, my colleagues and I were really starting to feel the pressure of, um, doing trials and jury trials and negotiating through Zoom. And I'm starting to feel like the bottom is dropping out. That I mean, that sounds really dramatic, but I am starting to really feel... Um, we had gotten comfortable saying, oh, wow, this could really work. It doesn't feel like it's working right now. And so I do feel like in my area, in, in the court system, and the people I work with, we're starting to get kind of tense and feel like what are we, like, what are we going to do? <laughs> it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not good. It's really not good right now. And I think a lot of it is people don't take court seriously or subpoenas seriously. When they're not in person, they don't see the judge in the robe. And so I just feel like my clients and just other people that we work with are making really bad, far-reaching decisions. And we can't seem to, like, get it into them what they need to do and so not I guess relevant to the plan so much as man these zooms you know I don't know what we're gonna do they're actually building a new courthouse for us and so I kind of think we're gonna be virtual until the court the new courthouse is open because our older one is I mean I don't I think it barely passes inspection as it is and it's definitely not great for COVID time so we'll see but I do feel a lot of tenseness and a little more stress in my work I feel like we had a delay in feeling the effects of COVID and the the consequence consequences and repercussions and we are feeling them now so on Wednesday I just put down a mom and baby sticker from paper shower and layered over a flag and just use a script sticker from panda bird designs just to note that I nursed the baby I put down a it looks like a third box and I also put down a um kind of a school sticker from Simply Said Life, just to note that I did, I visited a client at an elementary school, and then I left from there, and I put down that pencil sticker from Fox and Pip, and I put down a school pickup lettering sticker from mm, Piper Paper Co. I intended to foil those, like, um, and I never got around to it, so it's just in black, and I just noted that I went and picked up Jacob that day. Um, I did a lot of things for work so I put down a bow checklist and and jot a few things down um, I had some service issues I needed to talk to a process server and I needed to just get some work done um, I did upload a plan with me that day um, and then I put down another third box and I actually cut some deco in half and put some on the top and some on the bottom which is something I typically do with florals and I think it came out pretty well with just the deco so tell me what you think with that look I th I feel like it looked like that particular deco came on the box itself and so I thought it was kind of cool so on um Wednesday I'm feeling a little bit of tummy trouble and I actually go to bed pretty early that day and so by early for me I think I went to bed at like 11 I usually go to bed at three o'clock in the morning that's my norm um probably six out of seven days a week three and honestly I go to bed 
after 3 a.m., probably seven days a week. That's just my life. So I went to bed at 11 a.m. because my tummy was not happy with me. So on Thursday, I start off with that flag sticker, not flag sticker, that is a um, a, a girl sticker from Odd Loop, just kind of waving the the flag and surrendering. And I'm just noting that my stomach at this point, good things are, I mean, bad things are happening. Good things are definitely not happening. And I put down the glasses sticker from the kit just over a flag just to note that I had a morning meeting and then from there I basically canceled the day and for my whole family the day was pretty much canceled like we just totally screwed up the day I put down a paper shower um schoolboy just to note that my husband overslept which meant that Jacob was going to be late to school but at the meantime Jacob is saying that he has tummy aches and we don't know what's going on so everyone stays home I mean we just give up <laughs> We, we just said fail, parenting fail. We're going to try again the next day. I put down a laptop or a computer sticker from Samantha May 6 just to note that um, my family had a Zoom meeting because we we're trying to plan a vacation yet again. Um, and we like to do the details over Zoom. I put down a football sticker from Simply Set Night, oops, Simply Set Life just to note that I needed to set uh, my fantasy lineup for that day and get ready for the games. I ended up writing over the full box on Thursday and put down a bow checklist and jotted down a few things that I did, including booking the hotel for the family vacation. I also had to edit a play with me and do a pumping sesh. So moving to Friday, I actually layered over the baby sleeping in the crib sticker from Paper Shower and I put that over a third box and turned it sideways and put down a... Um, like a garland over that and I really like how that that turned out it's just something different that I don't typically do and so that stood out to me if I, I don't know that's super special but it just stood out to me because it's not something I do um I put down a bow checklist and jotted down a few things that I did for work I am I'm just having a lot of mm, I mean the nitty-gritty stuff the stuff that's been on my list for you know, a little bit deadline stuff and finally getting to it and um, because I'm not putting out fires. I think at this point I'm just giving up on the fires or <laughs> that's just what it feels like. But I don't know. I'm just in a whole mood, guys, that whole mood at this point. But I did have some answers, some counter petition discovery to review. I had some service requests, calls, texts, just, you know, another day in the life of an attorney in an office or working from home in an office. I also had a hearing that day and I finished off the day by going to the park with my family, um, start working on um, the baby's first birthday party or keep working on that and watch the documentary at the end of the day called Lula Rich, which guys, you have to, I mean, that was, I enjoyed it, but I was just, and I am a person who's purchased like, Lula Row before and I had well I don't want to say a good experience I because that sounds like oh if I had no no, no I don't, don't want to erase the experiences of other people but I don't have a problem with MLMs I mean I think they're bad but I always felt like people knew they were bad but they were it's like Vegas you know they were knew they what they were getting into and rolling the dice I don't think people do so eesh, I don't know do what do you guys think do you just think MLMs are just bad for everyone they should be banned or do you feel like people know what they're getting into or they should know and you know go at your own risk I I don't know but LuLaRoe seemed to be extra bad like more than MLM risk it just seemed to be oh gosh I mean train wreck but I I did kind of enjoy like watching it watching the train I mean sorry for the people who got hurt but ooh, that was a really good documentary so um, at this point, we're on Saturday, which is 9-11. And so I just said never forget at the top. Just kind of noting that. I don't know if there's a holiday sticker for that. I feel like there should be. Um, and I just noted, I wrote over the full box and just noted that I held the baby while he slept. I kind of got stuck because I knew he wasn't feeling well. So if I put him down, he was going to wake up and I wanted him to get sleep. And uh, mom life, I was in the bed holding a baby for an hour or two um we had some discussions we ran some errands on Saturday but we ended up watching the game with some friends and UT lost horribly so I don't really want to talk about it and I finished out the night jamming in the planner 
um, on Sunday, I just noted that I overslept one of the few times where no one's feeling bad, everyone's healthy, and we're not traveling, and we overslept and didn't make it to church. So we were, again, oh, we're just failing. <laughs> Uh, we're just failing at this point. That sleep mask sticker is from Simply Set Life. And then I put down another football from Simply Set Life just to note that it was Sunday football. And um, I like to pay attention to the football games. Not because I have a team or I care about football, but I have a few fantasy lineups and I'm a very competitive person. So I put down a half box just to note that it was just me and the boy, so we kind of hung out in, in the bed, and they just kind of wrestled and played, and I was just caught in the middle. Um, I did have coffee in bed that morning, and when I say that was like probably, it felt so decadent and relaxing, I just need to get out more or just do more things because coffee in bed should not feel so good. Like, I, I really need to do more things. I jotted down a few things that I did um, that evening. I did the nighttime routines and prayers, ran to the grocery store because I don't know, for some reason, I, it didn't hit me until that evening that I didn't meal plan or meal prep for the next week. And I just rushed to do it at the end of the day. Um, I did walk and talk um, at the end of the night and that's it. Pretty boring week. Um, but simple, simple. So if you like this plan with me, Give it a thumbs up. I do show you the leftover stickers, which there weren't much. I do show off the studio, shut off the studio light so you can kind of see it. Um, kind of a normal take, and that's it. Uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.